Hey guys, what's up? It's Trunks and I'm back here at you with another how-to video. Today we are going to be looking at the P.E.K.K.A. Walk. That's right, I said it. P.E.K.K.A. Walk for Town Hall 9s is a legit strategy now that is tearing it up over here. Fullman Morte brought it out against Just Clash with Maui. They were able to do some work with it. We'll get into a few videos here that I got for you guys and I'll go ahead and talk through basically the premise of what they are doing and how they are doing it. Um, on some of these bases, as always, if you can ever see an easy clan castle lure that you can take care of on the outside of the base, go ahead and do that. He starts off with some heals and his queen down after he lures out that CC, has a poison down to go ahead and take care of the clan castle rage typically uh, to keep that queen up when she is encountering those troops from the clan castle. She is going to come down one side of this base and he's going to bring a P.E.K.K.A. from the opposite side and walk the P.E.K.K.A. down. He gets funneling troops to make sure that queen walks the right way. And he's going to drop a P.E.K.K.A. up at the top with healers on the P.E.K.K.A. to keep it standing. Has more funneling troops to make sure that the P.E.K.K.A. walks down the right way. He's bringing no jumps because as you can see, he's got the P.E.K.K.A. He's got the queen, Barb King, and he's got his Valkyries. Uh, that he's bringing along with him. They will be able to, underneath those rage, just walk through these walls since they are high damage troops. Also bring bowlers in the clan castle. Um, every single one of these attacks you will see they have bowlers in the clan castle because they are great for gutting the cores of the bases. Um, gets the Valks under rage, queens under rage. Healers are going to step up and start keeping all of these troops in the core of the base. He had seven healers on this specific attack with him, so you don't have to worry about the traps in the middle of the base. You may lose a few, but four, four healers all is all you need on a single troop. Once you go above that, you start losing, um, from the most recent updates, you start losing some of the effect of the healers. So to lose a few to the traps or the air defenses is not going to be, be a big deal. But like I said, he brings all rages, so he's able to use two on the queen to keep her up. And then he's able to use a rage entering the base to gut a good portion really quick, as well as one more base. So he bring guts the whole core of this base. The Valkyries bust through with the Barb King, start cleaning up the trash on the outside. He's still got the bowler standing, the Pekka's still standing, the Queen's still standing, all full health. He has a few backside troops, um, the Loon. They're basically just there to clean up. Um, or get any last side buildings uh, that are out there working. Put this in times four. And we have a few more replays, basically using the same premise where you're going to queen walk one side of the base, bring the P.E.K.K.A. walk down the other side of the base and have them both meet in the core and then rush in with the Valks and Bowlers from the Clan Castle to go ahead and start working on the core of the base. There'll be a few spare troops, as you can see on this one. He has four hogs and two loons. You want to use these sparingly, but they're basically either for a clan castle lure or any of those hard buildings that are kind of outside that your core group is not going to get into, but you need them to clean it up. So once again, as you see, he gets some funneling troops down on this. Gets the queen down up at 12 o'clock. Uh, once again and begins to start making that queen walk down to the core of the base You'll see a lot of these bases where the air defenses are buried in the base to try to prevent a queen walk So that's what makes this strategy really good is that the air defenses are there buried. So If he walks his queen down the air defenses will be able to pick off the healers But the queen can't step up and take out those air defenses so when you go and you do this P.E.K.K.A. walk and you charge into the core of the base, it negates that effect that the base builder is trying to make by putting the air defenses where the queen can't get them, and it'll take out your healers. Um, right here you can see he has rages down on the core of the base so that the bowlers and the heroes step up. He uses the Barb King to push those he heroes, bowlers, and the Valkyries into the core of the base by taking out all the trash down there. Um, like I said, once those bowlers get in the core of the base, the queen and the P.E.K.K.A. with the healers on them, uh, not the queen, the P.E.K.K.A. and the Valkyries will tank for the core of the base and the healers will keep them up, especially under the rage, and the bowlers will just stand back with the queen and start gutting the core of the base. 
Uh, like I said, he starts using some of these backside hogs to start trimming off some of these outside buildings that are just standing outside. But once again, he has hogs still standing. He has both heroes. He has bowlers. He has Valkyries and a P.E.K.K.A. still standing in the core of the base. There's not much left for this. We'll have one more recap or one more replay of this exact same strategy uh, on number 34 right here. As you can see, we're going to pretty much do the exact same idea. We're going to start with the funnel created up top. There'll be a queen walk coming in. There will be a Pekka walk coming in from 12 o'clock and they will both walk down towards the, the middle of this base and then both meet. He gets an archer down at 12 o'clock to help create that funnel. He has the healers on the Pekka. As the Pekka walks down, the queen's walking down, both with full health, neither one taking any damage as there's not much point defense up around the top side of that base. He brings in the Valkyries uh, to go ahead and start working to rush into this base. He gets the rage down so that the Valkyries can start walk walking through those walls. The bowlers follow in behind, uses the Barb King up at 12 o'clock every single time to create that funnel idea so the Valkyries do not bust through the outside of this wall. They stay into the core of the base. Gets the poisons down for the clan castle. And the Queen, the Bowlers, and the Pekka and the Valkyries are all in the core of the base, raged every single time, and they start gutting the core every single time. Doesn't matter what's in there, because basically the Bowlers and the Queen will stand in the back and take them out as the Pekka and the Valkyries will tank because they will have the healers on them. Like I said, he brings only a small amount of hogs and loons, and he uses those, as you can see, on the outside to trim some of those hard-to-reach buildings. Um, gets a mortar and a cannon on the outside that would take some time for the queen to step up and take out. He's still got the Barb King working up top. The Valkyries have stepped up, taken out the queen, and the Pekka have pretty much got at the core of this base. Barb King is working on cleanup, and he's basically now has a queen charge with all the healers on the queen. She has full health and an ability, and he has a rage in hand, steps up, takes out the last air defense, has two loons in hand for this back side of the base, but the queen is basically sitting there gutting the rest of this base. The Barb King is working again on the cleanup. And once the Barb King starts tanking, he will be free to drop in those final loons if he wants to take out the last archer tower, which he does. Has a rage in hand that he's able to swag, pops the queen ability, uh, but could have swagged that as well as he's got plenty of time, um, like I said. Basic idea is to have the funnel created on both sides of the base you want to enter from. Have the queen walk down one portion. Have the P.E.K.K.A. walk down the other side. If you can lure up the CC and take care of it outside of the base, that's always going to be a plus as it'll make your life easier in the core of the base. You're then going to follow in with some Valkyries and Bowlers. Basically go through the whole base with Rage. And then you can have a few Hogs, Loons, um, it's your call when you look at the base and you scout it what you need to bring but basically get those to get those hard to reach buildings use your barb king to come down one side of the base to push the valkyries into the core of the base so that way everybody stays in the middle underneath the healers that are there you'll have rages bowlers and you're going to take out the core of that base while everybody else works around the outside that is how you do the pekka walk if you guys have made it this far in the video and you like what you have seen, go ahead and hit the subscribe button on this. I will be bringing more war recaps, more how-to videos for Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, and Town Hall 11 as I see them come up. Leave me any comments down at the bottom. I will try to respond to them. Any ideas you have, I will appreciate them and try to bring you content for them.